the date for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 215 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the challenger, Iron. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nibagameda. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? One? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag his fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And now he falls back into the finishing position. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 47 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar and still.
Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop a volatile division 